Hey guys, what is going on? I am actually just sitting here in night mode. I am going to do this video just like this. I was not able to make the video over the weekend um, because of work and stuff. So before I let it go too long, I wanted to get this stuff to you. I am at the very end of my day and I thought, ah, who cares? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm laying here in my pajamas. I've got my blankie wrapped around my shoulders. Um, my hair is up in a usual crazy bun. And we are going to do a Dollar Tree haul. And we're also going to do a Christmas tree shop haul. Which it isn't that much. And if you are from up north, around the north end, uh you will know about the Christmas tree shop. If not, I am sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if they shop online. I'm not quite sure about that. I mean, you can look into it. But up north here, we do have the Christmas tree shop. And there are some pretty cute stuff that you can find at the Christmas tree shop along the lines of like crafts and home decorations and things like that. So I have a few things to show you on that end. But it is mostly the Dollar Tree haul. So me and my crazy bun will start this off with some christmas stuff from the dollar store i call it the dollar store sometimes but you guys always know that what i mean it's the dollar tree always and forever in my life so we'll start with that so i'm going to show you the candy first i've just been kind of picking up stock and stuffery items i have a 17 year old son it, shopping is becoming more and more difficult every single year because all he really wants is money anyways and all he really needs is money um he has a car he has his own job he would rather you know buy his own stuff he tells me that all the time don't bother it's fine i'll pick up what i need i'll pick up the things that i want and generally he does so he doesn't even give me a chance so i'm pretty much just making him baskets with like goodies in it um for like sweets and treats um also he's a gum chewing kind of kid he likes to chew on gum so i've just been randomly finding him some fun uh gums that are different with different flavors to it and stuff and picking those up along the line some christmas candy and stuff to make a basket out of so these are just a few treats that i've found so that i can make him a big snack basket for christmas i found this which is a pretty decent sized bag this is the holiday cookies um from let me see from little it says lil it says lil dutch made and these are kind of just those shortbread cookies with the sprinkles on it the red and green sprinkles there are christmas trees and angels and gingerbread men and they're kind of cute just to put out on a tray this is a nine ounce bag sprinkle in a little glass dish on the table just to nibble on um so i picked those up and then I also grabbed him some his favorite chocolates have usually have caramel in them. So I found these from Palmer and these are the caramel Santas. You can see the wrapping around them is the Santa. So I grabbed those and I got I got him all candy that did have a Christmas theme on the wrapping of it so that once I put it all in a basket together it will look really festive and cute. I got the Sour Patch Kids in the red and green. He loves Sour Patch Kids. He is really really big with like sour like gummy things. He always has been. That's been his like preferred thing to go to him for a candy for most of his childhood. Um, I found these which are the Nerds and they're all red and green inside. Again, one of his favorites. And these are definitely his favorite. This is the Trolley brand. And these are the Sour Bright Trees. And those all together, plus the other candies that I've gotten him in previous hauls that I've showed you guys. If you want to look back, you can check out other Dollar Tree hauls in the last 
like month and I've picked up other candies along the line so I can make them a really big basket for Christmas. Um, these are fantastic and these are the Russell Stover four pack of the caramel chocolate. Uh, I don't know if they're Santa's. I, yeah, they, they feel like they could be like the Santa head inside. There's four of them. And then this is the Russell Stover Marshmallow. And again, these are really, really cute. And I got the red and the green package so that they can go next to each other in the basket that I'll make for him. So that's pretty much all that I picked up for candy this time for him. And then plaid, like I told you in the last Dollar Tree haul, is becoming like so so popular for this holiday season and i love it it's one of the prints that i grew up with anyhow on just everything on couches on everything so i'm really big into plaid from my history of like growing up and stuff and i'm so excited to see this on so many different holiday items and this bow is very very big it's a really really good size look at it next to my head um this is a great size bow and the plaid on it is one of my favorite plaids and i have lots and lots of wreaths to be made um i have started making holiday wreaths for thanksgiving christmas is coming up and i do sell some of my crafts um, but I'm having a lot of trouble finding wreath forms. I spent the better part of this afternoon out looking for wreath forms and my preferred wreath form that I do find from the Dollar Tree normally is the square one. I love that form and I cannot find it anywhere. And today alone, I went to five different Dollar Trees, um, and didn't find not one wreath form in any shape. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of a problem with that because I think everybody's probably buying up the stock to do the same thing as what I'm trying to do. So wish me luck with that. And let me know if you're from up north, if you see any and like the general location. I am, I'm not going to tell you the exact city that I live in, but I do live in Massachusetts and I, uh, I frequent all over the place. I go realistically, I would say, to about 15 to 18 different Dollar Trees on a monthly basis. I like to joyride, so it's not a big deal for me, especially on the weekend. I'm real big into like Sunday driving, and even if I have to work, I'll go in the later part of the evening so that I've kind of miss missed the rush of the day, or if I'm not working, I'll go in the early morning to do that. So, um, check out for reforms for me and let me know if you snag any or see any, but anywhere. Then I found this stocking, not that I need more stockings because I have a huge, huge, huge collection of Christmas items, um, in my stash, in my attic. And I decorate really big for every holiday. So I definitely didn't need it, but I definitely needed to have it. And this is an adorable stocking. This is like that really nice um, burlap. It's kind of thin. There's felt on the other side. But for for some really like um, not weighted, not real heavy stocking stuffers, you could stuff this at, or give it with some gifts in it you know, to somebody for a treat and use this as like a little gift bag. It's just, it's cute and the plaid on it is adorable and I loved it so I grabbed it. And then I also got this one with the tree on it. This tag is kind of like messing with the overall look. I'll try to move it behind. This again is a really, really pretty burlapy type of material on there with the little Christmas tree with different tiers to it, the felt on the back. So I got those two stockings and I was looking for a third one so that we could put up three in a row with all plaid on it, but I didn't like the other options, even though they did have other options. But I'm going to look around other stores and see if I can find another one with plaid on it that I liked more than the other ones that they had and then for stock and stuffer items I did grab this these aren't really stock and stuffers but they're just stuff for my son he's a really good um he draws beautifully 
and, and sketches and, and things like that. I have a lot of his artwork framed around my house. He's really talented like my mom. And um, so I've been trying to influence him to use his creativity more in his downtime and free time. And I love these sketch pads from the Dollar Tree. There are 40 sheets in there. Really, really good quality paper. It's really kind of, um, you know, it's not super thick, but it has like a good sturdiness to it. And I grabbed that for him as well as I grabbed this one that is kind of, you know, just a binded one. If he makes his pictures inside of there, then he can keep them all together because it's going to stay that way. And there are 50 in here. And then he loves mechanical pencils. So I grabbed him the eight count from the Jot brand of the mechanical pencils. And I will give that to him for Christmas. I'm just trying to, you know, basically, you know, find important things that I can get for him not to just bog up you know underneath the tree with just random stuff just to get it so that he can have a bunch of things open I'm trying to really get him things that are meaningful to him things that he really enjoys things that he can really use and um so I'm just picking up things as I go when I see them that I know that he would appreciate then I got these, and these are the cutest things ever. This is uh, three-piece gift boxes, and these are on the smaller side. They're 7.87 inch by 10.87 inch. So these are smaller gift boxes, and I'm not going to use them for gift boxes. I liked the print on them, and I love how the Dollar Tree showed what boxes are inside so that you could pick out the right one that you want so these are the three that are in this set and i loved all three prints so i am actually going to use these and put a fasten on the back to hang these on the wall in my bedroom as a picture decoration in my room because I'm going to decorate for Christmas in my bedroom. And I might sprinkle a couple around the house, you know, different spots and stuff. Um, so I grabbed those and I love the prints on them. Now, I also grabbed this really, really cute gift box. I was so enthralled by this and so excited to have found a box that opened in such a creative and different way. I didn't realize it at first when I picked it up. I just thought, Sorry, hiccups again. I always do it. Um, I just thought it was just another normal box like you'd see at the Dollar Tree anywhere, you know, for any holiday. And then I realized that this opened up in such a cool way. It opens up like that. And I think that that is just unique and beautiful and such a cool concept to open that way i mean that's really neat you just oh again it's so amazing how i do the same flubs every single time i do a video i almost hit myself i have the hiccups i usually drop something and it ends up halfway across the room bear with me <laughs> so um this is just awesome line it with a little parchment paper put some treats in there uh whatever just fill it with some trinkets some jewelry for somebody that is a really really pretty little box and the way that it opens is my favorite so now socks i grab some cute cute socks and i'm wicked excited by them these are gnome socks will you look at these these are just little ankle socks five to nine is the shoe size and they have these little cute gnomes on them but it wasn't the gnome that got me it was the hat with the little pom-pom and the curl in the hat those are so adorable I love them so much and I cannot wait to wear them so I grabbed those and then I found these are fuzzy socks and they're from that brand that's been showing up at the Dollar Tree for some time now. And they're really just fuzzy, comfy socks. 
and these have the cute little gingerbread man on them and I think that they're so adorable. I love my fuzzy socks. I love my fuzzy socks. I love my crazy bun. I love coming home and getting and all of this and wrapping a blanket around my shoulders and just cleaning with my candles burning and chilling out. So those fuzzy socks are going to be a lot of fun to scuff around the house with when I'm doing my holiday decorating and getting ready for um, movie night and things like that when we're getting closer to December, which I am excited about the holidays. I always am. So I'm getting ready for it. And then I got these for Richie just for kind of like a stock and stuffer. I get him all kinds of socks from the Dollar Tree. And these have those really, really cute little Norwell um, whales on it. Oh my goodness. Will you look at him with a little red scarf around his neck? And the little green scarf and these are adorable and they're men's 6 to 12 size and I get him all kinds of different prints Richie's sock collection from the Dollar Tree is strong he's got good socks from the Dollar Tree he wears all of them I get him some wild crazy prints and he loves them so I grabbed him these which I love now I grabbed these two because this is like Izzy's favorite stuff when he was little and these this is the ty brand and it's spongebob isaiah was absolutely obsessed with Sponge, spongebob for most of his childhood but his obsession with him was because isaiah loved to draw him and he drew him impeccably every single time and it perfected over the years of him drawing him and i'm actually at some point when this world starts to heal going to go to a tattoo artist and this has been my intention since he was like five years old I'm gonna take one of his drawings that he did himself of Spongebob in his younger years and I'm gonna have it tattooed on me Spongebob was a huge part of our household sometimes he's still playing in the background and people are watching and laughing um, so I had to get this for Isaiah to put in his stocking, just a little memorabilia for him. And then I'll put it up in our Disney box upstairs to go along with the other ones that I hauled a few weeks ago of the same exact brand that were all Disney characters. And then I found Patrick. And so I got these two little cuties from the Dollar Tree. They're adorable. They're soft. They're cozy and comfy, and they're way more than a dollar when you look them up and find them anywhere else for that brand. So I got Spongebob and Patrick, and then I also got his favorite Ninja Turtle, his favorite, favorite Ninja Turtle, and I actually made him a costume of him um, when he was, I think he was three years old, and Isaiah would probably kill me if I included this in a video someday um he would probably kill me if i showed you him at three years old with his homemade ninja turtle costume he had this mask on he looked so cool and we had a great birthday party so i found him and i had to get him and they did have the other uh three ninja turtles they did have all three but i only got this one because this one was his all-time favorite and he was obsessed with them. So I grabbed those to just put into like a little nostalgic type of gift set that I'm trying to make for him for his birthday. Because honestly, he's 17, but he's been looking back a lot in the last like year on how many different phases he went through and the things that he liked to play with and remembering like his childhood and stuff. And I think he's feeling sentimental about growing up and almost being 18. So I'm trying to put together something for him to uh, just kind of open up and be in awe about and remember his childhood and all the things that he loved the most. So I have been finding a decent amount of stuff at Dollar Tree randomly to put that together, which I'm excited about. Now, along the lines of starting to make holiday wreaths to sell and stuff like that, I started to pick up some of the items that I will need to put those wreaths together. And I just grabbed um, some bulbs that I found that are a nice small size. 
and these are ornaments. There's a 16 piece in here. This is like that frosty silvery blue. There's four different types of decorated bulbs in there. And I got two packages of those. And I think those ornaments are so sparkly and so pretty. Then I got two of the matte red bulbs. Again, this is a 16 piece. So I got two of those. And I also got two of the sparkly red ornaments to also use. And then these are my favorite because you know me, I'm colorful, I'm bright, I love everything colored and like wild and stuff. So I found these and my mom actually is the one that was like, you know what, you don't have to use those to light them up and actually use them for lights. You can just remove all of that from them and use the bulbs to um, use as like decorations on the wreaths without lighting them up and connecting them. So that is what I'm going to do with these. And this is four boxes and each one, and it has one strand with these bulbs on it. So I am going to use those and I think that they are terribly cute. I actually might go back and get more. Um, and I have some garland. I'm going to have to take this off because it's starting to like flop around and, and fall off my shoulders. I might need to straighten out my crown, my bun, for a minute too. Um, but I might actually go back and get myself a few packs of these because I have some garland, just regular, you know, green garland. And I might put some of these on the garland and string it up my banister on my stairs and do that with these bulbs on it. That would be really pretty if I swung my door open and that was the first thing that I saw coming into my house during the holidays. So I might do that. And they had a really decent amount of stock in that at all five Dollar Trees that I went to this afternoon. So then this potpourri, which I think is stunningly pretty and it smells good. I got two packages of that. And look at all that potpourri in there. I mean, that's pretty potpourri. And this is eucalyptus. And it is from Luminescence. That's the brand. So, I mean, that's pretty good size potpourri to put, like, in a pretty little crystal dish and set it out, you know, in different spots. And it's pretty, cause, pretty for the holidays because it's that really beautiful green. And then I also found this one that is blue and it is the seashell, you know, beachy kind because it's that pretty ocean blue. And this is Coastal Breeze. So I got that potpourri. And I also got this one. And this one is the Apple Cinnamon. Um, and I very randomly and rarely have ever seen potpourri at any of my Dollar Trees that I go to, which is odd because, you know, I, I would think that you would have that as a staple. I grew up with potpourri in every room and dishes all over the place. And I, I never find them there, but I have seen many other people haul potpourri on a fairly regular basis, but that's one of the first times that I've ever found potpourri at the stores that I go to. So I was excited to find it. And then I needed some ribbon to put together some of the wreaths. Once I can possibly find the wreath forms, this is nine feet. And I love just this regular, you know, very, very classic looking burlap with the little um, white lace around it. Very, very pretty. Most of the time, unfortunately, I use it to wrap around the wreath and then I cover it up with all of the things that I put on the wreath um, and then only leave out like little peekaboo spots of the actual ribbon. But that is the ribbon that I prefer from the Dollar Tree over pretty much anything else on a regular basis year round. And then once the holiday come, stuff comes out, then I buy all that up. And then I got some more leaves. 
because I have been asked to make some wreaths for Thanksgiving and I haven't been able to find the leaves. So I needed to grab some more and I finally found them at the last store I went to tonight and this has 50 pieces in them and there's all those fall leaves in there. Very beautiful colors. So I got three packages of those. So I am hoping that should be plenty of leaves for me to create a couple for this weekend to, to um, hand off to some people that had requested them for Thanksgiving. Now, so um, let me see, where do I want to go? I'm just going to pull randomly because that's pretty much all the holiday stuff. Other than this, I did grab, I forgot, I, I went out and we got all the holiday stuff. Everything's in the refrigerator and freezer. So Thanksgiving is stocked in my fridge currently. And the thing is here, I forgot the gravy. So I picked up a Campbell's turkey gravy from the Dollar Tree because I don't want to go back to the actual grocery store from now until Thanksgiving because I feel like it's probably going to get more and more intense as the days go on. So I wanted to be done with it this past weekend and I've wrapped it up, kneaded the gravy, grabbed it there. By the way, Shaw's has a deal where if you spend $25 on whatever else in the store then you can get a i think it's butterball turkey for 39 cents a pound for thanksgiving so look at the prices of turkeys from different places that you have around you for grocery options if you do have a shaw's and you think you can pick up stuff there that will equal up to 25 dollars you might as well get your bird there because 39 cents a pound is the best deal that you're gonna get so think about that and let me know who else has their fridge stocked already for all their turkey and holiday needs. Even though every year since a lot of my family um, unfortunately has passed in the last five years that were a staple during the holidays in my home, uh, we are missing quite a few souls to be with us during the holidays. But sorry. There's my other, um, there is my other, it never fails moment. I just hit the camera. Sorry about that. Um, it, it is only the five of us now. It's me, my husband, my son, my mom, and my dad that pretty much are with us during the holidays. And that's fine because now it's, we're dealing with Corona. We have to be safe. Everybody has to be aware of what's going on. And even though none of us like it, we have to protect ourselves and our loved ones so that's what we're doing it will just be the five of us and we're going to hang out we're going to eat turkey and pumpkin bread and chill and maybe a little slice of pumpkin pie in the afternoon so that's what we're doing what are you guys doing for the holidays um my dryer sheets you know it's the same thing every week my dryer sheets with my laundry softener um different kinds every week Always the same brand of this in different variations of what the scent is, 55 count. And then I got the la -da -da -da, Soothing Lavender for next week's laundry. So I needed to grab that. Then I also grabbed myself a hole puncher because of doing crafts and stuff like that. And also I've been making crafts for kids that are home and providing them for them and their family for the week. I have missing a hole puncher in my craft supplies. I don't know where it went. So I had to pick myself up one. And I was glad to have found that at the Dollar Tree because I have never really noticed if they had one. So I was grateful that they did. Now, a couple more things that I grabbed for my son so that I can make him a car cleaning basket for his vehicle because he loves to clean his car out in the driveway on the nice days, which we have been having some pretty nice days, even though it's like mid November, we've been up in the seventies over here in the last few weeks with a couple of cooler days mixed in, but we have been up in the seventies and we are not complaining at all because by this time we would have possibly had snow 
it, you know, it could have been all kinds of things, but this is New England, so you never know what you're going to get. You kind of just got to wake up every day and have your wardrobe ready to be, just go with the flow of what Mother Nature is giving us today. So car washing stuff, he may or may not be able to, but there is a chance. You never know. He could wash his car outside on a nice day in December around here. And this is the Armor All brand, which is a really good brand and a decent size car wash solution. This is 10 fluid ounces, all purpose car wash. I've gotten this for him multiple times as gifts and he loves it. So I grabbed him two more of those. And then I also grabbed him of the Armor All brand. I grabbed him an auto glass cleaner and a wheel and tire cleaner. These are smaller bottles, obviously. They're four fluid ounces. So I am going to make him a car care basket with all kinds of washes and, and you know, sprays and stuff and car fresheners to which, where is that car freshener? These are our favorite. I think I explained that in the last haul. I've hauled these many, many times. There are other brands. Um, there are other scents. I don't like any of the other scents at all. The cherry one is the one hands down that is fantastic. Lasts the longest. Smells the best. So this is the Coronado Cherry from California Scents. The other ones, in my opinion, are terrible. They are terrible. And they last literally no seconds at all. Not for me anyways, unless I just got the really bad batch the first time around. But these ones are great. We all love them. The whole family loves them. I've bought them for everybody, including myself, repeatedly throughout the months. So his car basket is started and we're just going to keep rolling with it when we find really cool stuff at the Dollar Tree. So then to wash my dishes by hand, as I've done most of my life, I did grab the Ajax, my favorite color, fuchsia. You know I needed to have this one just because it's fuchsia. And this is with bleach alternative and it is, it is citrus pomegranate. So I grabbed that to do my dishes. And then I also, along the lines of the holiday, I'm just finding it now because I'm digging down in the pile over here. I needed a, why, ah, baster. I knew that, but I drew a blank. I needed a turkey baster. I just grabbed mine from the Dollar Tree really quick. And then I found turkey seasoning. I found turkey seasoning from Supreme Tradition brand at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen this before. New stuff. Great. I can't wait to taste it. Truth be told, I don't like turkey. Nope. I don't like turkey and I'm not even a fan of Thanksgiving. So shoot me because I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. I'm not, I'm not a, if any holiday could be put on the back burner, it would definitely be Thanksgiving. I've been trying to get my family just to give me a break and let me buy Chinese for probably the last 10 years because Thanksgiving is just kind of like eat, get fat, feel sick and nap day. And all of that work, all of those dishes, not my favorite. And I don't like the bird. I think it tastes like barely nothing. So I'm hoping that this seasoning is going to make it tolerable. But I do like all the other sides, the green bean casserole that I make. I pretty much love everything else except for the actual turkey, but hopefully this will help us out this holiday and then I can stomach eat that turkey. So now no dishes. I hate dishes. I hate them. I hate them during the holidays. On a regular basis, my son does the dishes. I have to fill in when he's not around because he does work a lot plus school. But the majority of the time Isaiah does the dishes since, you know, for his chores for years, but the holidays is all me. It's all me and Richie too, but I'm definitely the one that tries to keep up with the cleaning as we go. I don't like it. So many years ago now, I started to just try to get as many, um, disposable stuff as I can so that there will be less to clean up after the whole ordeal of cooking is done. 
So I got the turkey roasting pan right here. Stick that big old bird right in there. Toss it out afterwards. And then I grab this one, which is two cake pans. But I will make the green bean casserole in one. And I will make potatoes in the other one. And then afterwards, I'm going to throw them out. And then those are three less big dishes that I do not have to do, which I am excited about. Now, now again, I'm just pulling randomly. I'll show you those in a second. I did get my favorite two of the aluminum foil, but it's not the normal 40, uh, 40 square feet. It is the 50 square feet, which I told you about many videos ago. They do have... The 40 on a norm, normal basis, but once the holidays come, they move it to the 50. I love finding the 50. So I grabbed two of those because we definitely are gonna need them. Um, I needed more Q-tips. I always get my Q-tips from there. There is a 200, yep, 200 count in there from the Assured brand. So I needed to pick those up. I also grabbed myself these two scrunchies. And they are very festive and holiday uh they're pretty they've got those fuchsia sparkles on there to match my dish liquid hey so i can be in style and i always grab two of these when i find them of the little ones because i do like to rock my little puffs on the side of my head my two buns that i make and i always need two to decorate my hairdo so i grab those and i love them I got my mother a Sharpie. She has been looking for a purple pen. And this is the fine point one from the Sharpie brand and it's purple. So I got that for her and I'm not going to save it for a stock and stuff or anything like that. I'm just going to give it to her now because she needs it. She wants to fill out her cards with a purple pen. I don't know. That's what she wants and I found it. So I got it. Then this little manicure set is adorable. And it's a cute little um, package that it's already in, all set up in there. It has four pieces for a manicure set, nail clipper, nail file, trimmer, scissors, and cuticle pusher. So I grabbed myself that because my hands are hurting, y'all. They are hurting. I'm telling you from making those bouquets all day, all week long, my hands are hurting. They, my nails are all messed up. My hands are all messed up. They're stained. They're dry. I, I wash my hands probably a thousand times a day, never mind the sanitizing that I do. And I still can't get it out. My plants are permanently part of my skin tone and it is going to have to be what it is. But I'm trying to take care of my nails because I, I, I have blood blisters and my fingernails, everything. I won't even show you that close because it, it just ain't right. And it, I have to help my hands because they're hurting really bad. So I grab myself some nail stuff so that I can try to work on that. Now I also grabbed this, which I'm very confused why they even had this. This is the Disney brand. And let's see what this says. It is Nano Metallic. Metallic. I don't know what that says, guys. That's what it says right there, okay? So, Disney and their metal. Their 100% die cast metal. Scrooge, the Queen of Hearts. Cheshire, uh, the Cheshire, Cheshire, Cheshire? Is it Cheshire? I don't know. Cheshire Cat? Maybe? Something? I don't know. Um... Gizmo Duck and Lilo. All oh, the glare is terrible. So these are them in there. And I thought they were cool. And it was a dollar. And so I like a couple of characters in here that spark some memories. But I grab this and I will probably put them in my Disney box upstairs so that we will have it in our memorabilia bin. Now, this is it for the, yep, nope, yep. This is it. Well, no, this is the last, like, item item 
and then there's one more thing after this from the Dollar Tree. But last couple of hauls I showed you, I have found my imitation caboodles, caboodle box for anybody that grew up in the 80s and 90s, the caboodle. Um, I found the third one. So I have now the pink, the blue, and the purple. My favorite three colors, pink, blue, and purple. And... I found it and I love it and the boxes are gonna look so pretty all together nice and deep in there and then I gave you guys the idea of if you have a tween little girl or a you know or a teen or whatever a daughter and you fill this with all kinds of scrunchies from the Dollar Tree uh, hair clips whatever fill it and give this as a gift to your little chick that is a really, really cute box. The little handle, it's a good snap to it, nice and secure. And I love it. I absolutely love these. I have one filled with all my scrunchies, another one filled with all of my hair clips and my bobby pins, and they're working out quite well. And then I will certainly fill this one up with the next round of stuff that I can organize into it so that I can have my three favorite colors stacked on top of one another with all of my little beauty goods in there and I'm excited about it. Now this is truly the last thing. I got the thick poster board that's kind of like a big cardboard thing. It's not the paper one. This is a dollar and I am going to use this to make Christmas ornaments. The window clings that I have hauled in the past i am going to adhere them to this and then i'm going to use an exacto knife to cut out the image and then i'm going to use that hole puncher to make a hole and string through it so that i can use them as ornaments hold on i'm gonna reach forward i apologize in advance i'm gonna try to grab the window cling so that i can show you if you didn't see my last haul, what I am talking about. So this is, oh, this is just one of the window clings that I got. Um, and this, these are the vintage ones that are really just like my absolute favorite window clings I've ever seen them have. It's my, it's my childhood, like 10 and under on a sheet of paper for the holidays. And so I'm going to put them on top of this board I'm going to use an exacto knife and cut around them and I'm going to make Christmas ornaments out of them as well as I had bought the frames that I told you about the last couple of I think it was the last haul I also bought the frames and I'm going to get another sheet of these particular window clings and I'm going to use them the frames to put the images inside of that so that is the intention for this and I'm excited and I think it's going to be so adorable. Now that, that is the end of the Dollar Tree haul. And I'm wondering if I should, no, it's not. I keep lying to you guys. I keep lying. I'm sorry. There is a beautiful gift bag that I have for my little chick, Angelie, my friend Julie's daughter that I absolutely love. She is my mini me. And I found this gift bag for her at the Dollar Tree. And this is a sloth gift bag. And it is humongous. It is a nice big gift bag. And it's got those sloths that are just the sweetest. Dressed for Christmas all over it. Just absolutely adorable love them love them love them and all of her christmas gifts are already inside so i won't show it just in case she sees this video um but this bag is just everything i absolutely love it so i got her this gift bag from the dollar tree put all of her goods in it to give her for christmas and that is now for certain it from the dollar tree i promise you and I know I said I was going to show you the Christmas tree shop stuff and and I have a couple of other little items over here. But maybe I'll save that for the next video because 
this is already 45 minutes long and I don't want to hold you guys here for too much longer. So I'm going to say goodbye. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely stupendous week. I hope that you are all healthy, well, loved, safe, and stay blessed and good to one another. Be kind, uh, especially during, you know, this crazy time in our life for all of us where we are just hanging on by a thread uh, and kind of feeling trapped and stuff. Be there for one another in whatever way that you can be. Be, you know be a light every day as much as you can even on the hardest days that you're having personally try to touch somebody else and give them what they may need for the day and it might very well lift your spirits so i hope that you all have a loved happy healthy blessed week and stay safe and be good to one another and i will talk to you guys in the next video and i promise i'll show you guys in the next video what i got at the christmas tree shop in the last week and I will share that with you and I will see you guys soon and I hope you all are wonderful and say hi to me like comment share and message me if you want and just let's connect for the holidays all right bye bye guys